Okay, welcome back everybody to Campaign of France. Um, I am on my way to sell our soybeans. Um, unfortunately, the price is already dropping from the price we had in June, even though it said July would have the highest price. So I'm quite, quite trying to race there as quick as I can to get the best possible price for my soybeans. Um, then we need some hay. We really need some hay. So my car, my grass is good to cut, and we are going to make hay uh, on our fields, by the way, uh, not on contracts. So. Let's pull in. This is supposed to offer me the best price for soybeans in here. It's not giving me the option to unload. Oh, this place never buys anything. It's, it's like it literally never buys a thing. Outrageous. <laughs> it's like last summer I had stuff to sell. And that was a that was a contract, I'm sure it was. Right, well, now I've got a rubbish price here. Okay. Maybe the best thing to do is buy the place. Because if it's full. It must have loads of stuff in there. Anyway. So, let's get back. Oh, that's a good start to the day, that, isn't it? Um, so, let's get back. Let's cut the grass. Let's tend it for hay. And then we can put it straight in cow barn we're not even going to bail it we can put it in straight away and then I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up here look how about that I'm gonna jump out of this tractor I'm gonna jump straight into the next one I already put into place it's like we're doing a relay race how about that bosh um, lower turn on let's rock and roll um, So, I am literally just going to crack on and cut the grass. Uh, uh, what I did do yesterday, and yeah, yesterday, I went, did go to um, Llama, the agricultural show in the UK. Um, that's been advertised on the advertising boards on some of these maps. I know DJ, well, DJ Gohan was advertising it beforehand, and when I was there, I met him, uh, Farmer Cop, and Mr. Sealy P. Uh, Virtual Farmer was obviously commentating on Farm Sim League, so I didn't get to meet him. Uh, but that was fun to go to because as much as I've been on a small holding I live in a farming area um, it was cool just to go and see some of the kit uh, some of the kit that uh, I use on my maps um, some of the kit I've used before on other maps, some of the kit that I've thought about using. Um, so it was quite cool to see a lot of that stuff. Uh, so that was a good day out. And obviously I've never seen Farm Sim League uh, live before. I, I, I didn't really understand it. But um, with it being live there, it qualifies for day one on Wednesday. That was really exciting to watch. Um, who knew farming could be such a cool esport? Uh, 
yeah so that was good and if anyone knows how to watch that online I think there is links that go out I haven't looked yet myself I'm going to it's definitely worth looking at looking to have a watch uh, they do best of three contests um, so some of the ones I watched they only did the first two because they were frankly blowouts um, but yeah it was cool tractors racing uh, it, it, yeah throwing bales into barns it, literally with your you know flicking your your baler at just the right point or uh, yeah it was cool and the tactics yeah so I'm going to read up on it it's really quite exciting so uh, if anyone gets a chance to go to some of these events where farming simulator are I would recommend it uh, I know there's I think it's PAX East coming up in March if you're in the US and you watch it's definitely worth trying to get there um I don't know where they're going next after that. It's FarmCon later this year. In Germany, it's PAX West later in the year. Um, and I swear Farmer Cop said something to me about Gamescom, but I may have been distracted by somebody else at the time, so I think that may have been when DJ turned up. So... Yeah, try and get to one of those events just for the day. It's a bit of fun. Um, so, that's the first field cut. I am going to get on with this field and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, guys, here we are. We are back. It's heading. I have finished cutting the grass on both fields. I took the other tractor and trailer back, parked it up um, whoa am I going to knock the sign over? no I'm not there we are let's move out uh, ok so hopefully we'll have the hay done very quickly on this field then I just need to spend a bit of time tedding the grass on the other field and then we can get to well I should probably windrow it actually uh, I'm gonna have to windrow it aren't I totally forgot about that so I've got to windrow the grass after it is the grass the hay after it's been tedded I've got into lazy habits after the contracts of the last episode, haven't I? Where uh, I didn't have to do any of that stuff. Right, let's quickly shoot along here. Righty. Okay, so, and then depending on how much we get done in this episode, you can see the next task that needs doing after the hay is done, is harvesting the oats and then baling the straw, so, oh, what am I doing, I need to unfold. Turn it on and let's go. So I'm going to crack on with doing the hay. It shouldn't take me too long. Then I will come back to you guys when it is done and while I am tedding, uh, tedding windrowing. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've nearly finished the windrowing um, as much as I thought it was cool to get this little machine 
it's very restricted on horsepower. Um, I, I do enjoy just going up and down, right? I've got to be honest, I do. It's quite nice. Um, there's a part of me that wishes I had a slightly bigger machine, so I had a slightly bigger windrow. The tether looks big enough, if I'm honest, for on the odd occasion I'm doing hay, like once every other year. Although, with the amount of cows we'll have, probably I'll have to do it every, once a year. And obviously the mower's not very big either. Um, there is a bit of land just behind the cow field, which is on a slope. So it made sense to get this. Um, but I am thinking twice about potentially upgrading it for the reform, which has 110 horsepower, 109 horsepower instead of 79 horsepower, which is also from the Alpine Pack or the the latest Al Foraging and Alpine Pack, whatever they called it. Um, so I'm going to think about that in the future. Um, yeah, because this is a bit time consuming. Uh, and I know when I was used it the first season, the first in game year for contracting, I was doing it, was taking quite a long time. Um, that's why I was quite happy to borrow equipment for the contracts because it was all large and they were fairly flat fields. Or if they weren't, the equipment that came with it was adequate. Um, so we'll see something to watch out for in the future uh, let's finish this off and then we can get to putting hay in for the cows alright I've got less than 20,000 litres of hay, that isn't going to last me long. Okay, how many more of these? Oh, two more, two, two more runs after this I think. We could get a bigger tractor on the uh, forage wagon. It is fun though using this, right? It is cool running around the yard in it doing fun little jobs. Uh, and I like having all the rigid track stuff, apart from the electric one, which I wish I also had. Just because it's cool, I used it last year on FS19. <coughs> It was fun to use that, but that also has 79 horsepower, if I remember correctly. So again, there's only so much you can do with the electric one. Um, right, let's just tidy up this little bit up here. Okay. Let's go and drop this off outside the shed. Whoa. Drop that off. There we go. Drop, park him up. And yes, jump into the bigger ridge track. To pull the forage wagon. <coughs> Turn on, left pick up, let's go. I wonder how much hay we're going to get out of these two fields. I could do with at least, at least three trailers. Otherwise, I am going to be short of hay, I think.
Uh, well, maybe we get full. No, look, 50% we've gone up and down <coughs> twice and around the end. Sixty-two percent. One, two, three. Yeah, we should get three, three trailers off this, off this field, maybe. And then maybe one off the other one. That would be nice. Maybe my maths is wrong. Um, so I'm gonna get on with this. Uh, and I'll come back when we uh, finish off the other field. Okay, guys, we're 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 back. Um, turns out I didn't record the last part of the last episode. What was supposed to be the last part of the last episode? So we filled up the barn with hay. We had forty-nine thousand liters. We got two trailers were full off of the big field. Then I started putting them through the baler. And as you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five hay bales of four and a half thousand litres of bale. Um, so I also, <laughs> I quickly fertilised the field. Um, before I set up the harvester to what was going to be the beginning of the next episode. So what we've got here is me starting on the harvest because I... Oh, oh my goodness, I did not bale the hay and then I've also put that on spraying the straw which I need. Another rookie mistake. So we want the uh, we want all the oats, uh, which I'm going to consider turning into flour. So I'm thinking about putting a windmill. I've downloaded a mod. Uh, I downloaded a couple of mods actually um, to. Uh, so that we can do our own hay and our own flour I should say um, because they have a fa we have a fancy a fancy bakers on this map with some extra extra stuff um, with names I cannot pronounce but they look exciting so I was thinking about taking all the oats making flour then when we've got the flour we can push it through into the bakery and then we can try some of the other products uh, what is it that they build in their bakery so if we go to pretend to build one production where is the modded bakery let's scroll along there it is so they've got cakes, bread rolls, which are normal, and then they have these other things called beignons. I think that's how it beignon. I think that's how you say it. Um, and in one of those goes apples. So it's like a, a little, yeah, look, beignon. And you can see f up the top there, six thousand seven hundred pounds for a thousand liters. That, and it, look, it goes up to eight thousand pounds. So I was thinking about doing that. Uh, it's different. It's something I have not done before, and that's part of the reason we're doing this map. There's lots of things on here I do not normally do. I do not normally do greenhouses. Um, I do sometimes do the bakers, but 
honestly this is a new product to do I thought it was quite exciting and it uses the apples um, and that's a bit frustrating because with the apples you've got apple juice and you've got the benyons if I'm saying it right um, but you don't get many apples out of the two trees I've got and you can only have so many productions and an apple tree is a production on here so I don't want to use up all the production capacity um, productions that you can have because they're limited on a console uh, by doing lots of apples and then not being able to do anything else um, so yeah I oh, that's the one problem with some of these small fields on this map is the trees Uh, so I will finish this field I think uh, I think we might because we've done sunflowers on the big two fields, I'm wondering if on those we do oats or barley or wheat next year. So, so that we've got a lot of straw and a lot of flour, we can kind of make do with the small fields after that for a while. And then we could go back to doing canola. I don't know. I don't know. Ideas are welcome. Put them on a postcard. Don't send them in. Just copy and paste into the comment section in in the YouTube. Um, oh my goodness! What is wrong with me? Uh, so yeah, I'll come back when the field's finished. Well. Okay, there we go. We are. Oh, I thought I might only have one more run to go. So, let's turn it around. Fifty five per cent of the tank. We're going to get more straw than we are right. Okay. Right. Right, let's turn off the baler. Uh, the baler, the harvester. We'll line him up to go on the next field. Lovely. Uh, let's go let's get some straw get it in and put it straight in for the cows um, whoa That is one of the cool things about these ridge tracks. Nice turning cycle. Cycle? Circle. It could go even tighter, except because of the, uh, the trailer, it can't go that quite so tight. Um, right. 32%. Yep. Loads more straw than there is a obviously uh, not hay hopes uh, are we going to get a whole trailer do we think we're going to get a whole trailer of straw uh, I'm trying to be positive today right let's 
yeah we're gonna we're gonna I let's hope next time I sow something in this field I don't leave bulb patches like that I mean really that's embarrassing I hope no actual farmers are ever going to watch this episode it's not only that I missed it it's that I didn't see that I missed it I mean those little dots yeah okay fine but really that big strip Uh, let's go up here. I've got the, uh, the class out with the with the trailer to collect up the oats when we get the other fields going. Cool. Let's get that little bit of straw. When the fields are this small, we cannot afford to leave any behind. Any at all. So let's turn around and drop back. There we go, eighty seven per cent, eighty nine per cent. Still not gonna get a whole trailer after all that. I thought I was gonna get one for sure. It's close, it'll do, but um, I thought I was going to do better. Frankly, it's not good enough. So, let's go and put this in for the cows. Um, I'm going to have to bale some of the straw up uh, for bedding uh, for both the sheep and the cows and I think the sheep are getting lower actually so some of the uh, the rest of the straw we will have to bale um, we've got th what, three four other fields to do so we should get plenty of bales of straw that should keep us ticking over for a while. Uh, turn off the loading wagon. Right. How close are we, do we think, to being full here? 52,000... No, 47,968. So... Close. So I'll go to 49,000. Okay, so... That's definitely it for this episode. I have definitely recorded it this time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.